right, so we are in um, Tuscany in the Chianti growing area of uh, Italy with um, this Chianti from La Ginestra. So it is uh, 2018, so has a few years on it. And it actually is DOCG, which um, impresses me just because I know the, I've known these guys for a while. And they're typically on like the funkier side of production. <laughs> so it always surprises me when like our funkier friends end up getting um, full designations. Um, DOCG is the highest designation you can get. Denominazione originata controllata e garantita. Uh, sometimes you see DOC. Uh, so that just means that it's made in the way that the region of Chianti approved of. Um and yeah, a lot of times they don't qualify. <laughs> so this one does. So um, yeah, let's just actually just dive in or give anything else away. So the color is this gorgeous like a reddish amber color. Um, I feel like it's got like it's pretty typical to see that color from Sangiovese, but also like the years that it has on it is really making this color look like it's still bright, but it's got this like subdued tone to it that um. I just really like the way it looks. On the nose, so it's super earthy. Um, it's got these like kind of like dried leaves, I think is how I would say. Like it's more dry than wet. And then it's got a lot of uh, red fruits, like tart red cherries, um, maybe a little bit of like pepper to it. Some dark too, like maybe blackberries. Um, there's like a floralness to it, like but again, like kind of dried, like dried roses. Um yeah, super earthy. Maybe it's like roasted bell peppers or something like that. Roasted red peppers. There's a lot here. So let's try it. Man so earthy on the palate too but it's interesting it's like it starts out earthy it's like i literally like initially feel like i like I'm, I'm it's fall right now i'm staring at all these dry leaves in front of me i feel like i just like took some and put them in my mouth but then right after it's like bam like tart cherry so it's like this really lovely balance of um earthy notes with uh almost like spicy fruity heart notes um so really complex. Uh, this is a very, I'm very impressed by this wine for how much it costs for what it is doing as a Chianti. Um, and I love the idea of it for stuff you want to start eating in the fall. That's why I wanted to pick a Chianti moving into fall. I just think that it's, it's like such like a fun, like lighter goat, but like goes with like foods that have a lot of heft. Um, so, you know, you probably want to eat some pastas. Great. Especially ones that have meat sauces like ragus i love that um you could do it with eggplants wild boar if you are into that you got to eat all the wild boar because we're trying to get rid of them <laughs> that's like that's a perfect type of thing here you could do duck um lasagna literally just like it honestly like as you might expect from a chianti it's gonna go great with all of your tomato pastas tomato italian pastas like that's probably the truest best pairing but it's a great food wine so you could go in a lot of directions i hope you like it